Greetings. Tony from Old River Hard Goods again. Front screen said this video is going to be about the my recent trip to the Jacktown Fall 2023 steam engine show in flea market. Of two days. I think got a little jumbled up when I was doing the video, so I'll be doing these good, quick little bits of narration. So on with day one. Well, today's musical selection is titled Ancient Fields from my first CD, Forgotten Walls. As always, the links are down there in the description. And as you guess from the title, we're on our way to the Jacktown Fall Steam Engine Show and Flea Market. It's Friday, and the uh, weather was kind of iffy for most of the week for today, but it's looking all right for today. I don't know what's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably going to be a rain out, but you know, who knows? Your patient money takes your chances. So, anyways, as always, I don't won't bore you too much with road trip stuff, but sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm here as you can see I'm the only one in the parking lot as usual on a cloudy fall morning trees are looking really nice though you had kind of a late year for them a little truck pulling off in the distance there so I'm gonna get my pack on my jacket on and start walking just head back to the flea market area As you can see, it's pretty quiet. The threat of rain will do that. Well, as you can see, the flea market area is pretty dead yet. Of course, they were, you know, went to bed last night and they were calling for rain, and now they're not calling for rain. But there's only like two, three people set up. I got a couple things off of the one guy, and a few people pulling in, so I'm gonna hang out here a little longer. Uh, the weather for tomorrow's changed again too. Looks like it's gonna rain overnight, but you clear up by the morning. So I'm guessing I'll be back here tomorrow, but we shall see, right? Well, I'm done for the first day. Didn't get much at all, just, most folks went to bed last night thinking it was going to rain this morning, so there weren't many people there. And yeah, what are you going to do, right? But hopefully we can get tomorrow in, so we shall see. Now for the fun ride back. Well, it goes without saying that pickings for the first day were pretty, pretty bad. I did get a Brown and Sharp number 800. Uh, that's a two-inch divider. Uh, not too bad of shape, so it's missing a little ball on the end, but that happens. Hey, pretty nice, although it wasn't cheap. Long, 
Machinist marking gauge, user crafted. Tip was made from an old uh, combination square scribe. But yeah, that'll clean up pretty good. And a set of nine hand forged small chisels and punches. Again, in pretty good shape, except for some mushrooming on the top, so I gotta take a file of that, but hey, you know. Sometimes you just take what you get, right? Well, as you can see, day one wasn't exactly a rousing success. Well, now on to day two. Now, just a little bit of history here. About a year ago, I posted my first video on this channel, and it was dealing with the same same fall show. And We've come a long way with over a thousand subscribers, and I can't tell you how many tens of thousands or maybe close to a hundred thousand views I, mean, I haven't looked in a while but I'm really glad it's worked out and I'm hoping to keep putting these guys out it's finding all the material sometimes it gets a little tricky but who knows right and it was kind of neat there on Saturday because I was standing there talking to my one uh, seller friend and this guy looks at me and says hey I recognize that voice I said he said I like your videos I said well that's great you know Keep watching because I'm going to be doing one about this place again. So, anyways, let's move on to Saturday. Well, day two of our little Jacktown adventure is starting off here at the Sailorsburg Flea Market. Going to do a quick hump around here and see what I can find. Pickens have been kind of sporadic here of late, but you don't know until you get there. So, off we go. Well, that was short and not too sweet. Very few people set up, but to be fair, they were calling for rain until like 7, 8 o'clock this morning when I went to bed last night. And of course, the forecast changed, so but what are you going to do? It's uh, not too bad out. It's in the 50s and not much in the way of wind. And, but anyways, I'm going to take the old slow ride back down to Jacktown and wait for things to open air. So off we go. Well, we're here. Not much happening yet. It's quarter of seven. Of course, this is not an early market by any stretch, so I'm going to saddle up the old knapsack and start taking the slow walk back to the flea market area and see what's up. I did see some other people walking back, so time to hit the road and make the donuts, as they say. Well, this is the flea market area. It's just a little before 7 a.m. Kind of dark, kind of windy. Almost got knocked in the head with a black walnut coming down off the top of about a 60 foot tree. So, but I guess I could always use some sense knocked into me, right? Uh, yeah, there's some mud. The world famous Jacktown mud. Not as bad as some years, though. I mean, I've been here when it's been three, four inches deep in all the aisles, but still. Still coming in, setting up. I got a few things, but I ain't got the kind of volume I was hoping to grab here. Uh, what are you gonna do, right? I keep saying that, but hmm. this guy's got a lot of tools, but he's priced to the moon on them. Well, should be another guy with tools around someplace. Well, this guy. I see him at Sailorsburg all the time. I got a couple of things off of him to start with, but a lot of mechanic stuff, if that's what you're into. But events down here is closing out his stuff. He's kind of trying been trying to retire for the past couple of years and yeah well. Uh, 
those of you that like things that make lots of noise. Hey, John. There's the saw guy. And more tools. Cloudy, cloudy skies. But no rain, thankfully, so. Yeah, I'll walk over here. Oh, this guy has tools. Sometimes he's okay, sometimes he's not. We will see. People set up. Oh, weather's keeping them away again. Second show this year that kind of got weathered out. What are you going to do, right? They're going to be firing up the sawmill at some point, but I'll be long gone by then. So, but we're kind of at the peak of the colors for this year. Well, we're back here at the tank, and there's the knapsack all loaded up. Folks have asked about it in the past. I had some friends years back that used to do uh, go to the military bases and buy surplus by a pallet load. And, uh, that's where I got this guy from. I forget the model number, but I'll tell you what, it's got a lot of miles on it. And, I do tend to get it overloaded, but not this trip, thankfully. So, anyways, got the about an hour and a half ride back to the shop. So, off we go. Well, here we are back at the shop with today's finds. Not a great pile, but anyways, we'll take a look. Got a 10-inch Greenlee draw knife. It'll clean up pretty well. A mixed set of bits and a canvas roll. Uh, all those need bits need some cleaning and sorting, and the roll needs some washing. A uh, six-inch sized perfect handle screwdriver. Stanley number forty one and a quarter inch chisel uh, needs some work. A six-inch number eighteen Eureka bevel square. Not too bad a shape. This is an English Stanley, number 51 spoke shave, and the uh, somebody rounded over the heel a bit, or maybe that's how it was made. Usually they're marked if that's the way they are, but you never know. This is a rule and level, number 75, uh, Bullnose Rabbit Plane. Set of four slightly different engraving tools. Uh, didn't see a maker's mark, although some of the blades were marked, but kind of different, kind of neat. Uh, stare at rule in the case. Uh, this is the original of these guys, the Fox Patent, uh, 1921. I had a couple of the uh, Fulton or Dunlap versions, I forget, but this is the original one. They actually made two, the original patent called for this arm to pivot used as a protractor, but those are kind of hard to come by. Different looking set of cork cutters. Not too bad. Just need a wipe off. And a small straight peen hammer with the original handle. In pretty good shape. And then a few bits and bobs of paint and screw needs tightening. So, hey. Ain't the best pile I've ever had, but sure beats nothing. Well, that's it for this time, folks. As always, if you like what you've seen, please hit that like and subscribe button to be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching, and bye.